Let's now get to the politics shaping the World Health Organization leadership. Tedros Adhanom has been reappointed as the Director General of the World Health Organization for a second term by the Executive Board. 28 countries, including Kenya, Rwanda and Botswana, had proposed his name solely in the process that began last year. But amidst the jubilation, Tedros has faced animosity from his home country, Ethiopia. Gina Kirori explains. To a rousing round of applause, WHO Chief Tedros Adhanom was reappointed unopposed. He made history by becoming the first African national to head the organization when he was first elected in 2017. He has been praised for his efforts in minimizing the effects of the COVID-19 pandemic and championing for the rights of African countries. Another chance for Tedros uh, to head the World Health Body is significant, uh, particularly for the African continent, in part because he's been at the forefront of advocating uh, for African access to vaccines. In Ethiopia, opposition against Tedros has been brewing, especially after he condemned the crackdown on the Tigrayan people. The Ethiopian government withdrew their support for his second term, accusing him of associating with an outlawed group. The, for the individual, it is important for them to be in good books, uh, not only with their, with their own government, but also with uh, friendly governments who are able to, you know, who are able to support them uh, for that candidacy. I, we, I think we view this more from a political prism. Uh, that is emerging from a very painful conflict that's going on in Ethiopia. But I, th I think this is not something that should be politicized. And I think ultimately uh, his win and uh, his continued service at the, the, the World Health Board is going to be important for both Ethiopia as well as the continent. While the world has since adjusted to the global pandemic, Tedros's big assignment will be around ensuring health equality, particularly in the African continent where vaccine nationalization has been a big concern. Gena Kirari, NTV.